Hello everyone and welcome Total War Three Kingdoms is out and we will play it. So let's begin guys. I think I'm gonna go with a multiplayer campaign. Uh, sorry, a single player campaign. It is my destiny to rule. Tao Tao watches dynasties fall and tyrants rise. Be watchful. So this is pretty much China. Know your all as one preparation, not prediction. Remain uh, this is a very good position to, to start. Weakness. I mean, um, chaos, we have the mountains to protect us, and so on. Is heard, like a clarion call above embers rise. So let's begin dark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns, chaos ignites, as the power of the Unix is crushed. In the pyre, the hand falters. Yet there are those who would still fight, still roar. Gon Xuan Zan holds against the tyrant, his own fire unrelenting. With a thundering of hooves, he rides to war. China is in turmoil. The great empire of the Han, stretching back ages beyond counting, is being devoured by corruption. The yellow turbans, thousands strong, began raising their banners in rebellion and seizing commanderies across the realm. In response, generals loyal to the Emperor rose up and put down the rebellion. Yet despite the victory, the chaos only grew. With the corruption at the very heart of the Empire, the loyal general stormed the Imperial Palace and killed the Ten Eunuchs, the source of China's ills. In the madness, the warlord Dong Zhuo seized the Emperor. With the great warrior Lu Bu at his side, none dared oppose him. In response to Dong Zhuo's brazen display, treason some call it, a coalition of warlords rose up, led by the charismatic Yuran Shao, to save the Han. Faced with united opposition, Dong Zhuo retreated west to his stronghold of Chang'an, raising the old capital Luo Yang to the ground as he fled. Okay guys, let's get going. Here we go. Luo Yang lies in ruin, my lord. It is the work of the tyrant. Dong Zhuo knows no mercy. He is cruel and barbaric. He flees west with the young emperor. Control of the Han goes with him. He must be hunted down. His devastation of China must be stopped. However, there are other, closer issues to Come deal on. with. Come on. Liu Yu still poses a threat. If he cannot summon the strength to govern his own lands, then I will seize them and do it myself. The coalition is dying. It lacks unity and leadership. Something must be done. Long have I defended China from enemies without. Now, I must turn my sights to the enemies within. Your cavalry bray, Lord Gon Xuanzan. Okay, guys. So, establish your power. Claim Han Empire region. Be warrior of Liu and Gongus Du. And if I press space, I can see who... Owns what? Okay, war awaits. So, is this my enemy? Blue is enemy. 
China's problems. Need this is one of your armies, used to attack enemy armies, conquer settlements, and defend your own territories. So, guide them well, and China. Will I think I'm gonna need a few more units if I wanna do anything. Okay, so we start in the mountains as I uh, as I expected. I mean, as I chose. Yeah, the thing is, there is uh, barely any um, other uh, points they can attack me, so it's good that I chose. Uh, this guy is way much more powerful than I am. I mean, his army is bigger, as you can see. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Actually, my army is bigger. Sorry, guys. We have engaged Sorry. the enemy in battle. Now it is up to you. Let's fight. Yeah, his army is much weaker than mine. And finally, guys, we begin a battle worth fighting. What madness consumes China? This fire must be stopped, lest we all burn. The people suffer as cities burn. It cannot continue. For years, I have defended China from numerous threats. It seems now I must take up arms to defend her again, once more, for China. I wonder how long would it take for someone to conquer the whole map. I think that would be uh, a fun, a fun uh, task. I can't wait to do some sieging. Some conquering and so on. This game is um, for a long time was in my um, must playlist. But finally I got a chance. Oh, okay guys, we begin with a small battle. Here are the units. My Chinese warriors. G infantry. Take heed, yeah, very nice, guys. It looks nice. Okay. We got cavalry. We got everything. like there are two heroes so it's a little bit of a combination of uh, Warhammer Total War and the normal Total War okay the enemy's just waiting over there <clears throat> a duel is single combat between two generals Troops will honor the duel and not interfere unless ordered otherwise. I will defeat you. Okay. So we begin a duel. Nice. to a victory you are weak I think they're gonna run away. To attention. I think I'm wrong. <laughs> they actually went after my uh, my hero. Double 
time. The battle is amazing. There are more enemies on the other side. Guys, it looks cool. I like it. I like the game. So for five minutes we, we fought and fought. <laughs> These guys are running. They are archers. Okay, the leader has been really... Really fast. Our men have no ammunition. They cannot fire. Uh, that's it. Let's end the battle. It looks like we kind of won this one. <clears throat> nice. So far, so good. Great animation. And the fate of those you have captured in battle must be decided. You may bolster your ranks with the remaining enemy soldiers or kill them to prevent them returning to fight you again. 288 income. What should we do, guys? I mean, do we want money? Do we want back our men? <sighs> I think I'm gonna go for a ransom. Nice. What a nice victory, guys. All right. So this is an iron mine, which Do not yield. Take them. we if can take as well. If a battle it will fall in your favor, you may pass on command to one of your subordinates, so you can concentrate on more pressing matters. Okay, let's delegate the battle. Reason the enemy's defenses have steel. fallen. A decisive victory. And now victory. those that cower inside await judgment. You may occupy or sack the settlement, among other options. Each will leave it in a different state, with its own consequences and advantages. Let's occupy it. Nice. So we are slowly expanding, guys. I love this. Look how many regions are here. Crazy. 
And I think Get the stable, ready there is a trade port over there. There is a tool maker over there. A commandery consists of a capital and its surrounding counties. The capital is the center of administration, and the counties make use of the local resources. Okay, let's see what we build, guys. Population growth. Money, that's what we want. Uh, and we need the trade post. post. I have returned. So we gotta go there. Or we I should at least recruit. Let's end the turn. Let's allow everybody to do their biting. Your faction not only consists of settlements and armies, but your policies, reforms, and family affairs. All contribute to your rule and deserve consideration. Uh, when it comes about, let's see the cost insured by your army each turn. Soldiers count. And yeah, we produce 600, whatever those are. And I think there are uh, seasons in this game, because right now it's autumn, year 190. That's really nice. So maybe we get different resources depending on the, um, on the season. Guys, let's get a few more. A few more men. It's gonna take one turn. We need to take the harbor. The the trade post actually. There are many intricacies. It's winter. And a wise leader seeks counsel rather than allow pride to lead them into ignorance. If any aspect of your kingdom eludes you. You have only to ask for clarification. Stand against chaos. Let's move towards the harbor. On the march. As you gain prestige throughout China, you will be rewarded with a rank befitting your power. Your options and resources will increase in line with your authority. In unrest, boldness is needed. Steal yourselves. Be unrelenting. True ambition is not to match the great deeds of the past, but to build upon them. Reforms create fresh practices, military tactics, philosophies, laws, and tools. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the envoy. And resent resettlement incentives, but I cannot choose that now. Anyway, let's close. And let's end our turn. Battle is not always the answer. Uh going to do once military access. We oh, okay. that would meet your approval. I don't see where he could pass through because I'm at the corner of the side world. Side, your general's bonds will deepen as friends or 
Okay, my chances of success are good. Let's delegate someone to fight this for me. A clear mind leads to victory. A decisive victory, guys. I like that. I'm gonna occupy. We'll take it. I'm not. I'm not a bad leader, you know. Are composed of generals and their retinues. A retinue is made up of up to six units, and once a general is recruited, these loyal followers will follow them into battle, in service of your cause. So let me understand. There are territories here as well. There are a lot of. There is a lot of forest, so I guess not. So this is the last guy I should kill, and uh, there is that. He's basically gonna be mine. The overall satisfaction is low. So Total War Two Kingdoms has this uh, nobility type of thing, like you saw in medieval Total War. That was that was really fun. So guys, I'm gonna stop here with the the video. I thank you a lot for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And don't forget that G2A is officially sponsoring me. If you are planning to buy any games from them, including Total War 3 Kingdoms, check out the link in the description. Thank you, bye bye.